Hi! Welcome back to Math 100. Our next topic for today is derivatives of trigonometric functions. Before we start, let us recall the following trigonometric identities. We have the following quotient identities. Alam natin na ang tangent of theta, which is equal to what? This is sine theta all over cosine of theta. We also have cotangent of theta. This time is cosine of theta over sine of theta. We also have the following reciprocal identities. We know that secant of theta, this is equal to what? This is equal to 1 over cosine of theta. And cosecant of theta is 1 over sine of theta. While we're at reciprocal identities, cotangent of theta, observe is 1 over tangent of theta. Recall also the very important identity, the Pythagorean identity, What does this say? This says that the sum of squares of sine and cosine is 1. And from here, you'll get two more identities. First, if you divide everything by sine squared of theta, what you'll get is this identity. You'll get 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. And if you divide everything this time by cosine squared theta, what you'll get is tangent squared of theta plus 1 equals secant squared of theta. So very important itong Pythagorean identity, no? Dapat you know this by heart. Alright, next, uh, next, what we'll do is we'll consider the following limits. First, consider the limit of this function sine h over h as h goes to 0. Hanapin natin yung limit na to. Paano kaya natin mahanap? What we'll do is we consider the graph of this function. The graph of this function is this one. This is the graph of sine x over x. What do we want? We want the limit as h goes to 0 of sine h over h. Baka nalilito kayo bakit h. Okay lang yan. No? Wala naman problem. Variable lang yan. Kung gusto nyo, sige, palitan natin ng x. Pareho lang yan. So, as x goes to 0 from the right, papunta kay 0, mula sa kanan si x, yung graph natin saan papunta? Graph natin papunta sa point na ito, no? Ano yung point na ito? This is actually 1. On the other hand, as x goes to 0 from the left, yung graph natin papunta saan? Dito din sa point na to, sa 1. So, nag agree therefore, ang limit nag exist and is equal to 1. Let's write that down. This limit is 1. And let us consider another limit. The limit of 1 minus cosine h all over h as h vanishes to 0. Para makuha itong limit na to, ganun din, let us consider the graph of our function 1 minus cosine x over x. What we want is the limit of 1 minus cosine h over h. Equal din to ng limit ng 1 minus cosine x over x as x goes to 0. Okay? So, si x punta natin sa 0 mula sa kanan. Yung graph natin saan papunta? Ito yung graph natin. Papunta siya sa 0 din. As x goes to 0 from the right naman, ang graph natin papunta kay Zero then. So, ito ay equal saan? This one is equal to zero. And that is your limit equations which we will be needing para makuha ang derivatives ng ating trigonometric function. Sige, kunin na natin sila. Let us start with The sine function, let f of x be sine x, and then hahanapin natin yung derivative nito. Okay? Recall natin that if you have a function g of x, 
Kapag kinuha mo ang derivative nito, ano nga to? Ano yung limit definition nito? This is precisely what? Limit as h goes to 0 of g of x plus h minus g over x all over h. So we're going to use this limit, defini limit definition para makuha ang derivative with respect to x ng sin x. This is f prime of x. So from here, its limit as, uh, sorry, as h goes to 0, limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Pero ano yung f natin? It is sin x. So palitan na natin yun. So you have sin of x plus h minus sin x all over h. Alright, so let's work with this. Meron tayong sine of sum, so we can use the identity, sum identity. Ano yun? Yung sin cos cos sin. Let's use that. So you have limit as h goes to 0 of sin x cos h plus cos x sin h minus sin x all over h. And then, ang gagawin natin ay, igugroup natin ito si sin x cos h tsaka si negative sin x, and then ihiwalay natin ito. So, we'll have limit as h goes to 0 of sin x cos h minus sin x all over h plus cos x sin h all over h. Okay? We have limit of this sum. Alam natin na ang limit of sum is sum of limits. So, pwede natin silang paghiwalayin. We'll have a uh, sum of two limits. Limit of this one plus limit of this one. Kukopihin ko na. Okay. Now here, ang gawin natin, i-factor out natin muna si negative sin x para magkakaroon tayo na from here, it's 1, and then dito naman, magiging minus cosine h all over h. Okay? And then, ang limit natin saan nakadepende? Kay h, no? So, ibig sabihin, independent of x. Kaya itong si negative sin x, walang effect sa ating limit. Gayun din si cosine x. So, pwede natin silang ilabas. Ilabas natin sila, and we'll have negative sin x times the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine h over h plus, eto, nilabas natin si cosine x limit as h goes to 0 of sine h over h. At itong dalawang limit na to, alam natin itong mga to, no? From our theorem, eto ay 0, samantalang eto ay 1. Okay? Gawin natin yun. So, we have negative sine x times 0 plus cosine x times 1. So this is equal to cosine of x. And that is the derivative of your sine x. Similarly, I leave it to you to verify using the same process, no? Derivative naman ngayon ni cosine x, this time is negative of sine x. So, please do this on your own. Verify, please. Okay, so I hope clear yung derivative ni cosine tsaka ni sine. Ngayon naman, let us consider the derivative of our tangent function and cotangent function. Start tayo kay tangent. Mula sa recalled identities earlier, tangent of x is what? This is sine x over cosine x. So, it is a quotient. Kapag dinifferentiate mo to, you may use quotient rule. At dahil alam na natin yung derivative ni cosine and sine, kayang-kaya na natin makuha si f prime of x. Therefore, ang derivative with respect to x ni tangent x, this is f prime of x, is low d high, low cosine x, times derivative ni high, anong derivative ni sine? Kanina, it's cosine x. Minus high, 
times derivative ni low, which is cosine, derivative ni cosine is negative sine x. All over low squared, all over cosine squared x. Simplify natin sa taas, we have cosine squared x plus sine squared x all over cosine squared x. Now, cosine squared x plus sine squared x, ano yan? Pythagorean identity, that is 1. So, you have 1 over cosine squared x. And this is also 1 over cosine x squared. Ano itong nasa loob? This is secant x. So, you have secant squared x. And that is the derivative of tangent x. And using similar process, you'll get the derivative with respect to x of cotangent x, and that is what? This time, it's negative cosecant squared of x. And again, I leave it to you to verify the following. Okay. Let's move on to secant and cosecant x. Let f of x be secant of x. Again, from recall the identities late, uh, earlier, secant of x is what? This is 1 over cosine x or cosine x raised to negative 1. At ito, kayang-kaya natin i-differentiate. Ano ngayon ang f prime of x? Uh, this is derivative with respect to x of secant of x. This is what? From here, it's negative 1 times cosine x raised to negative 2. Simplify lang natin. That is negative 1 over... Sorry, hindi pa tayo tapos. Okay. Negative 1 times cosine x raised to negative 2 times derivative ni cosine x naman. So, anong derivative ni cosine x? It's negative sine x. And then, let us simplify. So, yung negative mawawala. Meron tayong sine x sa taas. Sa baba, anong meron tayo? We have cosine squared x. And then, we write natin to as follows. Gawin natin 1 over cosine x times sine x over cosine x. And this is equal to what? Ano ito? This is secant x times ano naman ito? It is tangent x. So, that the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x and using the same process i leave it to you to verify that the derivative with respect to x of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x so please do this on your own verify okay so anuhin lang natin no I-summarize lang natin, we have the following, derivative ni sine. We found it to be cosine. Derivative ni cosine is negative sine. Derivative ni tangent is secant squared. For cosecant, it's negative cosecant x cotangent x. For secant, is secant tan. And for cotangent, it's negative cosecant squared x. Itong anim na to, napaka-importante. Dapat kabisado ninyo. Hindi naman ganun kahirap, no? Madali naman siya maalala. Parang may partnering na nagaganap, no? Si sine and cosine. They are partners. Si uh, secant and tan, partners. And cosecant siya, cotangent, partners. And lahat ng may co, cosine, cosecant, cotangent, ang derivative sila ay may negative. Okay? Balik tayo dito sa ating discussion. And let's have the following examples para tayo ay masanay. Okay? So, find dy dx for the following function. Alright, for number 1, ang function natin ay sine of 5x. Okay? Ano ngayon ang dy dx natin dito? Ano muna i-differentiate natin si Si sine, derivative ni sine ay cosine. Tapos, copy lang natin yung nasa of 5x times, this time, differentiate 5x derivative of that is 5. And then, you may simplify a little bit more. So, you'll get 5 cosine of 5x. 
and that is your derivative. Very simple, ano? Next, let's find the derivative with respect to y of this function. You have tangent cube 5x. Okay, ano ngayon ang dy dx natin? Note lang natin, no? Anong ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin, ano yung naka-risk 3? Yung buong expression, yung buong tangent. So, una natin yung hindi differentiate We have 3 tangent. Ano na yung exponent ngayon ni tangent? It will be 3 minus 1 or 2. Times, this time, differentiate natin si tangent. Derivative niyan is secant squared. And then, copy yung loob. Times, derivative ngayon ni 5x, which is 5. And then, we may simpli uh, simplify. We have 15 secant squared of 5x times tangent squared of 5x. And that is your final answer. Next, we have this function y equals 3 sine of 3x plus tangent of x squared. And then let us find dy over dx. This is a sum. Start tayo sa first term. Copy lang natin si 3 and then differentiate natin si sine 3x. Differentiate nyo si sine. Anong derivative ni sine? It's cosine of 3x times differentiate 3x which is 3. Plus, this time you have tangent of x squared. Note ang square dito ay na kay x lang ha. So, ang una natin i-differentiate is tangent. Derivative nyo is secant squared. Then copy yung loob times derivative ni x squared, which is 2x. And then, pwede natin simplify You get 9 cosine of 3x plus 2x secant squared of x squared. And that is your final answer. Okay, next. Ang function naman natin ay x squared plus cosecant x cubed all over cotangent cube of x. Okay? Ano ngayon si dy dx natin dito? This is a quotient. So, gamit tayo ng quotient rule. Low. Copy natin si low. Times derivative ni high derivative nito. Derivative ni x squared i, 2x. Plus, anong derivative ni cos secant of x cube? Yung cube dito, yung 3 na kawins kay x lang ha? So, una nyo i-differentiate si cosecant. Derivative niyan is negative cosecant, cotangent, and then copy nyo lang yung loob, times derivative ngayon ni x cubed, which is 3x squared. And then minus derivative, oh uh, sorry, minus high. And then derivative ni low. Okay, anong derivative ni low? Ang 3 na carries kay cotangent. So, differentiate muna natin yon. We have 3 cotangent squared x times derivative ni cotangent na. Derivative yan is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And then, all over the derivative, or sorry, the square of our denominator. So, that's cotangent 3 to 6 of x. And that is your final answer. Okay? I hope clear pa so far. For the next item, hanapin naman daw natin yung second derivative ni y with respect to x. Given that y is this function, it's 2x plus sine of 3x minus x squared plus x cubed. Okay, gawin natin to. Una natin hanapin si dy dx. What's dy dx? Derivative ni 2x is 2 plus differentiate natin itong pangalawang term. Una yung di-differentiate si sine. So, derivative niyan is cosine. Copy yung loob. Times derivative ng loob. Anong derivative niyan is 3 minus 2x plus 3x squared. And that's your dy dx. Siguro, isulat ko lang as follows para hindi nakakalito. Times cosine
Okay. Tapos hanapin na natin yung gusto natin, which is the second derivative of y with respect to x. Ito na yung i-differentiate natin, no? What is the derivative of 2? It is 0. So you have 0 plus derivative of second term. This is a product. You use product rule. Copy nyo ito. Uh, plus 3x squared times derivative nito. Outer function is cosine. Yan mo nang i-differentiate. So you have negative sign of 3x minus x squared plus x cubed times derivative nito, which is 3 minus 2x plus 3x squared. Okay? Plus, copy nyo naman ito. So you have cosine of 3x minus x squared plus x cubed and then times derivative nito. Derivative nyan is 0 minus 2 plus 6x. And that's it. Simplify lang siguro natin ng onte. What we'll get is 3 minus 2x plus 3x squared. Quantity squared. Dalawa yan, no? Ito, tsaka ito. Times negative of sine 3x minus x squared plus x cubed. Plus negative 2 plus 6x times cosine of 3x minus x squared plus x cubed. And that is your final answer. Alright, let's move on to the next example. Use implicit differentiation. To find dy dx, if our function y satisfies the following, x cubed y squared equals tangent x minus sine y. Okay, gawin natin to. First step for implicit differentiation is you differentiate both sides. Differentiate natin yung left-hand side. This is a product. Use product rule. Stay natin sa x cubed and then differentiate y squared. Derivative ni y squared is 2y dy dx. Plus, stay natin si y squared and then differentiate x cubed. So, times 3 x squared. Equals, differentiate naman natin ngayon si tangent x derivative yan is secant squared x. Minus, differentiate natin si sine y derivative ni sine is cosine times derivative new y, so times dy dx. Next step is we isolate or uh, we collect all terms with dy dx on one side and put the remaining on the other side. So, alin yung mga may dy dx? Ito, tsaka ito. Ilagay na lang natin sila sa kaliwa. We have 2x cubed y dy dx. Ito, inilipat natin sa kaliwa. So, that will become cosine y positive dy dx. Equals, lahat ng walang dy dx sa kanan stays si secant squared x. And then, ilipat nyo to sa so magiging negative minus 3x squared y squared. And then, we isolate or solve for dy dx. We factor out dy dx here. We'll get 2x cubed y plus cosine y equals, copy natin ito, secant squared x minus 3x squared y squared. Therefore, Ano ngayon si dy dx natin? dy dx is this quotient. It's secant squared x minus 3x squared y squared all over 2x cubed y plus cosine y. And that is your final answer. Finally, let's have this example. Let us use implicit differentiation. To find dy dx, if your function y of, set, y of x satisfies the following, y cosine x minus cosecant cube y equals 1. Okay, first step is you differentiate both sides. Differentiate natin itong kaliwa. Derivative new, uh, stay natin si y. Ito yung dinidifferentiate natin to. A uh, product rule, so we... This is a product, so we use product rule. Stay si y, differentiate cosine. Derivative ni cosine is negative sine x. Plus stay si cosine. And then differentiate mo si y. dy dx. 
minus, eto naman. Anong derivative ni cosecant cube y? So, nakari si cosecant k3, kaya naman you have minus 3 cosecant squared y, times derivative ni cosecant, which is negative cosecant y, cotangent y, and then wag kakalimutan si dy dx sa dulo. And you're done dito. Equals, derivative ngayon ni 1 is 0. And then let us solve for dy dx. Uh, first step is to isolate dy dx, no? Lahat ng may dy dx, ilagay natin sa kaliwa na lang. Alin yung mga yon Ito. So, stay nyo si cosine x, dy dx. What else? This one. That's plus 3 cosecant cube y cotangent y dy dx equals lahat naman ng walang dy dx sa kanan. Ito lang yan. Lilipat nyo sa kanan so magiging positive. It's y sine x. And then let us factor out dy dx. What you'll have is dy dx times the quantity cosine x plus 3 cosecant cube y cotangent y equals y sine x. And finally, what therefore is dy dx? It's y sine x over cosine x plus 3 cosecant cube y cotangent y. And that is your final answer. I hope clear lahat ng examples. Kung may tanong, ilista muna and then you may ask your discussion teachers later on. At para mas ma-practice kayo, please do the following lecture exercises. Okay, so do the following. Kapag may tanong, you, you just ask your discussion teachers. And that, finish, uh, that finishes our session for today. See you tomorrow and enjoy answering. Bye!